What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Red Dirt Aviation. Hope you guys are on a fantastic day today and today we have the February 2021 Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport update for you guys. I really hope you guys are excited for today's video. We got a lot of awesome elements in this Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport update for you guys. So I really hope you guys are excited and we will get started here with this American Airlines Boeing 737-800. This guy just came in from Norfolk and he's going to be heading out to Denver. Next up we have a Delta Airlines Airbus A320. This guy is arriving in from Salt Lake City and he's going to be heading back out there. Next up we have this American Eagle Ember Ear J-145. This guy is coming in from Del Rio and he's going to be heading out to Albany. This American Eagle Ember Ear J-175 is arriving in from Albuquerque, New Mexico and will be heading out to Kansas City. Alrighty so here we go in the Spirit lineup. So let's begin with this Airbus A319 here in the front. I believe I saw one of these flying around the US so I definitely wanted to put one in here and just to talk about the situation at least so we're going to say this guy's currently arriving in from let's go with uh we'll go with tampa for him and we're going to say that he's heading out to myrtle beach now obviously the majority of these uh if not all of them pretty much have been grounded however i did see one i thought i did at least flying around so i definitely wanted to represent one and just uh, the briefly mentioned hopefully it comes back and everything like that uh, there in the back, we have the Spirit Airbus A320. We're going to say this guy's coming in from Cleveland, and he's going to be heading out to Phoenix Sky Harbor. And in the back, we have a Spirit Airlines Airbus A320 Neo. Uh, we're going to say this guy's coming in from Chicago O'Hare, and let's send him up to Detroit. Now, as a for Spirit, um, I know I have the A320 Neos that I've still not been unboxed, and it's almost March. Um, I've been over the Arctic Air situation. I've been over my schedule. Uh, I'm not gonna bore you guys too much more with it. Um, what I'm gonna say is um, it's coming soon and the weather has drastically been much better. So I will be able to get that going very soon. So please be patient. It's definitely the next video up that um, I'm going to be filming that's not an airport update. So bear with me on that, but Massive Unboxing 14 will be coming very soon to you guys. And then in the back over there, we got the Frontier Airbus A320 Neo. That is Colorado the Big, or sorry, that is uh, Georgia the Painted Bunning, pardon me. That is not no big orange sheep over there. Uh, we're going to say this guy's coming in from, how about, let's go with Miami for him, and he's going to be heading out to Denver. Uh, we do have a route starting on April 12th. Service to Newark begins on, um, sorry, April 12th. That's going to be a very interesting route as American um, definitely has had very limited operations compared to normal, especially JFK. They haven't even flown JFK during the pandemic out of Dallas, Fort Worth. So I'm going to be eager to see how that goes for um, Frontier, but uh, definitely building out of that network for sure. Alrighty, so right here we have a very exciting appearance. Right here we have a Delta Airlines Airbus E220, and this is the 300 variant. I'm really excited to have this model finally in here. I predicted that it would definitely be coming into Dallas, and as they start to get delivered, we did have a couple substitutions over the last month for the 220-300. Uh, one came in from New York Gordia and one went out to Detroit. So that is exactly what we're going to do here. We're saying that this Delta Airlines Airbus A22300 is coming in from uh, New York Gordia and we'll be heading out to Detroit or Detroit Aviation's airport. Now, I'm really excited to see the future of the 220 here. Um, I'm not sure if you guys have noticed, but the 22100 has definitely been a little more limited flying wise as of recent due to not quite enough pilots to do that at the current time. And then as well as just uh, with everything going on, uh, for some routes, it's not practical. We've got a lot more uh, 319, as you see right there in the back and um, some regional jets as well, especially for our Minneapolis service. But we still do have quite a few 220s luckily and i'll be hopefully exciting to see them a few days from now when this video is coming out will be on sunday so very very excited for that and here's the rest of the delta squad right here in the front we have that airbus a319 that i was referring to we're saying that this guy's coming in from detroit is that what the, mainly detroit is right now is the uh 319 but also the 220 a little bit and of course the 220 got in there a little bit so very cool so we'll say that he's doing the Detroit turn. There in the back, we have a Airbus A220-100. That is the first release right there. Uh, we'll say this guy's coming in from, uh, we'll say Minneapolis. I think I did see a MSP on there. Uh, and just for uh, retrospective, we'll send him back out to New York Gordia. And on the top side right there, currently pushing back, we got Delta Airlines Airbus A321. This guy is currently arriving in from Lance Hartsfield Jackson or Citrus Aviations Airport. And these have, um, not surprisingly, I would say, but um, very cool to see that they've had a very dominant presence on our Los Angeles Delta service. 
I'm sure uh, some slack from United pulling that route right before the pandemic helped them out, but I'm sure as well as the uh, leisure travel market is absolutely through the roof right now compared to the normal. Uh, and that is definitely helping out uh, Delta service to Los Angeles. So it's been mainly through 21s uh, with a couple exceptions. But right here we have that Delta 8 through 21 coming in from Atlanta, heading out to um, Los Angeles today. Little Concourse E intermission right here is right here we have an American Airlines drops 8 through 21. This guy is currently co coming in from Los Angeles, let's say, and he'll take it up to New York Gordia. So getting some cool routes going right there for sure. Alrighty, right here we got the E satellite concourse. So as you can tell, pushing back, we have right here we have an American Eagle Ember Ear Z 140. Um, I'm calling it a 140, it's actually 145. This is uh, representing November 842 Alpha Echo. Um, he's currently arriving in from Garden City and he's gonna be heading out to Stillwater today. I have a very, very exciting video coming up. Um, I'm not gonna say what it is, but um, I'm just gonna say st stay on the lookout for it as it's very, very exciting. Some of you may already know, but I'm super, super excited as um, that may give you guys a few hints on that. And then over there in the back, we have an American Eagle Bombardier Nace Air 700. We're gonna say this guy's coming in from Bloomington and he's gonna be heading out to a Rapid City. Okay, so on the top of your screen, we have some specials for sure. We got the Alaska Airlines Boeing 737-900 ER. This is the more to love paint scheme. We're saying that this guy's coming in from Seattle, heading out to Portland. Been very consistent, two Seattles and one Portland, uh, mainly just the 739. So very, very nice stuff right there. And then currently loading up, we do have a JetBlue Ember ERG-190, JetBlue Airways that is. This is in a special blueprint livery. This actually has came a couple times, but the 190 in general has been very dominant again. Taking it back to 2013, 2014 kind of times for JetBlue. It's been a while since we've done that, but we are back to it. Uh, mainly was 320s and even a few 321s made it in before the pandemic came and uh, stole the thunder. So uh, anyways, we're saying that he's coming in from Boston and heading out to New York, John F. Kennedy. Um, yeah, the 190 is a very interesting um, aircraft here for uh, JetBlue right now as it's flying to some very interesting faraway cities from John F. Kennedy, I noticed such as boss or sorry uh dallas uh new orleans sarasota um i mean they're not crazy by any means but just uh interesting to see them going back to this approach which um it's just kind of interesting to me but anyways uh the 190 looking good up there and right here we have our three united aircraft for this update we have 737-800 on the top right there he's currently arriving in from newark and we're going to say that he's going to head out to chicago o'hare today Right there in the front, we have United Airlines Airbus A319 in the Continental Globe paint scheme. He's coming in from Denver and he will be making the turnaround back out to Denver. And of course, we have the main workhorse, the United Express Embry Air J-175. He's coming in from, uh, let's go with San Francisco for him and he's gonna be heading out to Houston. So um, yeah, very interesting operation for United here to conclude our Concourse E lineup. We'll see a few more other aircraft of these airlines throughout the airport update, but nevertheless on to, uh, let's take it over to our next section. All right, are you guys ready to see something really cool? You guys see that dust spot right there? She gone. Alrighty, so let's take it over to the F hard stand. I think they're making really good progress on that extension piece. So I will be able to insert that when it is ready for Concourse D, which is kind of in this area. So that's why I mentioned it. Anyways, we have some uh, very nice aircraft over here. In the front here, we have the Emirates uh, Boeing 777-300ER. Uh, this is our 2016 release, I believe is the year of it. Now, really cool flight right here, uh, doing cargo only flights to uh, Copenhagen, which is a very, very neat service. I've seen a couple of those. So we have our Emirates 333 doing a Copenhagen run. Um, I'm sorry about the GSC. We're just gonna pretend that it's an idle time over here at the hard stand, so that's why there's no GSC over here. And then uh, we have two American Airlines aircraft. We have a Boeing 787-9 and a Boeing 777-200ER. Now there are some very interesting flights. Um, there's actually two cargo flights to Rome FCO, which is very, very interesting. One is on a Boeing 787-9 and the other is on a Boeing 777-200ER. What's even more interesting to me is they both arrive within like, I think they arrive literally at the exact same time, but if not like five minutes uh, in between each other, which is absolutely mind boggling to me. Um, that's crazy, wow. But anyways, we do have our two aircraft. I will say that the front one, 
We'll just say that he's doing the Rome turnaround for the cargo. And then we have the 777-200. We'll say that he's coming in from Seoul on that cargo one, which that should still be going a little bit. And then he's going to be heading out to Rome as well. So very, very cool stuff right there for American. Alrighty, let's take it over to Concourse D for a little international action. On the back right there, we have a Velars Airbus E320 Neo. Uh, this guy's coming in from Mexico City and we'll be heading out to Guadalajara. I'll be eager to see more flights. And just as I explained with the Spirit Neo, the AC is uh, coming. So be on the lookout for that. And on the bottom side right here, we're gonna say that we have a little morning rush action for this update. We got the Korean Air Boeing 787-9. This guy's gonna be making the flight out to Seoul. So it's really cool how the internationals work, which is really cool. So all the Asia stuff for the most part, that's Korean Air and uh, Japan. They come in and the American flights from Hawaii as well. Those all come in in the early morning. And then in the afternoon, that's when we get normally, uh, that's normally uh, prime time for British Airways, Lutanza, Qatar, sorry, Qatar, um, Emirates usually, and all those guys, which is really, really cool how the regions work to make that happen. But uh, yeah, we're just saying that we have a little morning rush right here is that uh, this is normally what you'd see, something like this. And then give or take, um, Emirates usually I think normally came during the morning. So I'm sure there's some sort of uh, difference there on time or something, even though Qatar comes in in the afternoon. So if anybody knows the exact details of that, please let me know, I'll be uh, eager to hear. And then currently pushing back, we have the almighty unit of this American Airlines Boeing 777-2 or 300 ER. This is that first 2013 release. One of my oldest models, I did a reaction video to me unboxing this and it is still here. Um, very fortunate, man. What a model, a great mold. Anyways, this guy's currently, uh, we're gonna say that he's coming, he came in from London Heathrow on an all, I don't know. We're gonna say that he came in from London Heathrow on an all cargo flight and he's gonna be heading out to London Heathrow on the passenger flight. The respective flight numbers for that is the, oh, the, the cargo one was like a 9,798. Uh, 51 is the passenger number, so very cool there. This American Airlines Boeing 787-9 just arrived in from Cancun, and he's gonna be heading out to, um, my apologies for probably uh, botching this, Bruno's Arrows. Actually, I think I may have got it. That's 996. We, it's been here for a while, but um, some updates I included, some I don't, which I need to include in every update, so my apologies. But anyways, all the South American stuff for the most part comes in in the morning as well. So the morning rush is mainly the American Hawaii flights, uh, South America flights and then Korean Air, JAL, and normally Emirates, I believe, but very, very cool right there. And right here we have this American Airlines Boeing 777-200ER. This is another 2013 release. Uh, we're gonna say that this guy is currently loading up. He arrived in from Paris Charles de Gaulle. Uh, the outbound is 48, the inbound is 49. Uh, so arriving in from Paris Charles de Gaulle is flight 49. Now, this may be because they don't have to have um, immigration and all that. I actually saw one of these leave out of the A concourse on the outbound flight 48 out to Paris uh, left from the A concourse. So if anybody knows the details on that, they probably can, uh, American can probably uh, send those aircraft out of the A and C concourses, uh, those international flights. Um, I'm not sure, but that was really cool to see. Uh, so that was just something I noticed. And then uh, we're gonna say this guy's currently heading out to Seoul as a passenger flight. Um, okay, I do not have a flight number for that, but nevertheless, heading out to Seoul, a very cool flight. And then apologies for the lighting, but anyways, here we have an American Airlines 787-8. Uh, this guy's currently arriving in from, we will say Miami for him, and he will be heading out on an all cargo flight with service out to Amsterdam. I think the uh, normal passenger flight kind of um, is mix and match. It's not daily, but I could be wrong on that. Need to look into it, my apologies. And then on the top side right there, we have an American Airlines Airbus A321. This is still the domestic portion. American operates a bunch of mainline domestic flights out of uh, the north part of the A con or sorry, D concourse. Uh, we'll say this guy's currently loading up for Tampa and he came in from Philadelphia. That would be a good one. Okay, right there we have an American Airlines Boeing 737-800 in the air cow livery. I'm sorry about the angle. It's literally right in the middle and it's kind of hard to get there. Anyways, we're gonna say this guy's currently arriving in from, let's go Charlotte for him, and he'll be heading out to Las Vegas. Right here, we have an American Airlines Airbus A321 with the fence tips. This guy's currently arriving in from Charlotte as well, and we're gonna say this guy's taking it off to Seattle. Currently lifting off, let's surface out to Indianapolis. This is FedEx Express Boeing 767-300 freighter. And this FedEx Express McDonald Douglas MD-10F, he arrived in from Memphis, and he's gonna be heading out to, uh, we'll send him off to San Antonio. Also wanted to say I'll go into it a little more at the end of the update, just wanted to mention it now to make sure I don't forget. I'm very sorry to everybody who lost power and everything during the massive winter snowstorm that came through our region. 
I know it was tough. I was out without heat too, and everybody, um, quite a few of us lost power. So I want to say, I hope you guys all got your power back and everything. I saw a lot of bad accidents. Oh, uh, lots of water leaks and all kinds of stuff. So I'm really sorry if you were affected by this Arctic air winter storm outbreak, and I hope uh, the recovery goes well if anything significant happened to you uh, for my local guys down there. That goes for anywhere else in the United States as well. But nevertheless, I just wanted to mention that. Um, I'll talk about it a little more at the end of the update. Right here, we have an American Eagle Bombardier Nace here, day 700. This guy's currently arriving in from Bakersfield, and we're gonna say that he's heading out to Houston Hobby. Right here, we have an American Airlines Airbus E321 with the Sharklets. This guy's currently arriving in from San Francisco and he will be heading out to Orlando. Right here we have an American Airlines or E319 with the fence tips. He's currently pulling off the runway. He's currently arriving in from St. Thomas and we're going to say that he's heading out to, oh, why don't we go with Washington Dulles for him, which is one I've noticed a lot. Now, America's going to be adding some really cool Caribbean flights coming up here in the summer for leisure travel for sure. So we will go over those. Those flights will be um, some of them seasonal, some of them not. Actually, I'll go over all the new American routes real quick. So yeah, we went over it briefly, but Tel Aviv will be starting this October. So that's gonna be a crazy one for sure. And then the other ones that will be starting is the new v Beijing airport will be going into effect. That is the Daxling on March 22nd, Beijing capital will end. So that's an interesting transfer. Uh, JAL, I, it said it had both, I thought. Let me double check on that. I'm sorry, we're kind of all over the place, but lots going on right now. Now, as for JAL, they have Haneda and Narita on here. So yeah, very interesting. But nevertheless, um, that was one of them. And then American has more flights starting. Um, Fairbanks starting May 6th. That's gonna be an interesting one, probably eight through 21 Neo. And then the two new ones, San Luca, that will be beginning on June 5th and also St. Martin. Those will be really cool routes. Um, I'm assuming those will probably be operating on the Airbus E319 with the Sharklets. That's obviously the most efficient aircraft for a route like that. Um, wouldn't it surprise me maybe if it's a Neo, um, especially the St. Lucas, I think that's pretty far down there in the Caribbean. So maybe they put Neos on them, but that's gonna be a really cool dynamic. American Eagle starting service on March 4th to Eugene, Fayetteville, North Carolina and Idaho Falls. That will be a June 3rd service, Long Beach on April 2nd, and uh, some seasonal services. Um, we have, okay, I'm gonna take a guess on this one. I believe it's Hemuzilo, uh, okay, we're just not gonna try that. It's HMO in Mexico, so that will be starting. Uh, that's kind of um, on the far, that's kind of like by, um, like way south of San Diego, like in the middle of the peninsula in Mexico, north middle, my bad. And then also service to, uh, we're gonna try this one as well, Meridia maybe, it's, uh, its code is MID, that'll be starting soon as well. So I'm sorry for my spill, but American Airlines got a lot of positive things going here out of Dallas. And then right here we have the Sun Country Airlines, Boeing 737-800, this in the older blue livery. This guy's currently arriving in from Las Vegas and he's gonna be heading back out there. Really exciting new flights starting to Orange County on May 6th. That update was crazy, we went over it more in depth, check that out if you'd like to. And Puerto Valara service resumes on June 4th. So uh, big time summer operation coming for Sun Country this year, I bet. Okay, so over here at the hangar area, we got a variety of American Airlines aircraft, the Airbus E320 on the top left, 737-800 Chrome, uh, Airbus E321 Neo, and the US Airways Heritage E321 as well. So nice lineup here. So let's take it over to the, uh, we'll start over there at the C concourse, I think, and we will proceed on from there. Very exciting. Alrighty, so let's get started with concourse C. Got a ton of American Airlines action going on over here. So here in the front, we have an Airbus E321 in the stand up to cancer livery. This guy's currently arriving in from San Diego and he's gonna be heading out to, uh, let's go to Chicago O'Hare. Next up, we have a uh, Boeing 737-800. This guy's coming in from Reno and we'll be heading out to, let's go with uh, Detroit for him. Airbus E319 with the Sharklets over there. This guy's currently arriving in from uh, mainly fence tips, but I'm sure they've got a Sharklet in there to Atlanta. So we'll say Atlanta for him. And heading out to Eagle Vale, which has been going very strong right now, as I'm sure you guys could guess. And a 737-800, that is our One World livery. Uh, where would, would I have seen one of these? Uh, we'll just say for this update, uh, West Palm Beach, and he'll be heading out to, oh, uh, he's gonna head over, or, mm, Let's go Sacramento for him. And then on the top right there, we have an American Airlines Boeing 777-200ER. Uh, some very, very cool domestic routes. It's mainly the Hawaii flights, but still super, super cool. We're gonna say this guy's coming in from Honolulu and he's gonna be heading out to, 
Um, let's go with Kona. Let's go with Kona. So very, very cool. All righty, on to the next side of Concourse C. We have an American Airlines Boeing 777-300ER. Oh man, I'm so excited to say this. This guy is currently loading up and he's gonna be heading out to Chicago O'Hare. Yes, wow. So Chicago during uh, this recent time of the pandemic has got a ton of Boeing 777s and a few 300s in there, but quite a few 200s. So that's been super, super cool to watch. Uh, absolutely crazy. I believe the flight number for that one is 1114. Oh my goodness, that is so cool to see. Um, I think it's been London main, mainly, but still, wow, that is crazy to see that. So he's coming in from Chicago, and um, I don't think there's any other 777-300 domestic routes at the current time, so we're just going to say that he's going to load up later and head out to uh, London. Next up, currently pushed back on the right of your screen, we have an American Airlines Boeing 737-800 as well. This guy's currently arriving in from Austin, Texas, and he'll be heading out to Baltimore BWI, which sees quite a few of those Boeing 737s. Uh, right there we have Airbus E319, another fence tip config. This guy's currently arriving in from a Charleston, probably a Charlotte one, but uh, just making do with what we have. And we'll head out to Raleigh, Durham. We got the uh, TWA Boeing 737-800 right here. This guy's currently arriving in from, oh, let's go with, um, I'm sure, mm, we will say Kalispell for him and he'll be heading out to Bozeman. And then uh, loading up right there, we have another fence tip, Airbus A321. This guy has arrived in from Salt Lake City and we'll be heading out to, um, what's a good fence tip one? How about we say Chicago here for him as well? Alrighty, over to the A concourse we go. I'm sorry about the shade. Uh, it will look very, very nice on the other side. So uh, the compensation is definitely worth it. And plus with the longer days, um, eventually we'll have the light on the side. So during the May time frame and also the October time frame, it's gonna hit really nicely on this concourse. So bear with me, it's kind of hard to set all this up. Alrighty, we got an American Airlines Boeing 777-200ER. That is a one world livery down there at the, uh, far down there. We're gonna say this guy's currently coming in from Kahului. And let me check here. We'll say this guy's coming in from Miami. Then next up, we have a Boeing 737-800 right there, uh, currently loading up at the gate. We're gonna say that this guy's coming in from Denver or Mile High Aviations Airport, and he will be heading out to uh, GDON Aviation's uh, BLD. I believe that's, oh, Bradley, I think is that airport, so my apologies. Should've wrote down the full airport. Next up, we have a Airbus E319. That's another fence tip configuration. Uh, this guy is currently loading up and he's going to be heading out to Austin or Aviation 14's airport and he's arriving in from Myrtle Beach and an Airbus A321 right there. This guy is currently loading up as well. He's going to be heading out to Philadelphia or Aviation Preston's airport and he arrived in from Tampa or Aviation Fan 79's airport. Now here we go in some really nice lighting. This is where it's at right here. That looks amazing. On top of your screen, we have the American Airlines Airbus E319. That is in the Allegheny livery. Tomorrow as of filming, uh, today's the 23rd. Uh, tomorrow on the 24th, um, Allegheny is scheduled to do a Tulsa and Oklahoma City turn back to back. So why don't we say that he's coming in from Tulsa and he's gonna be heading out to Oklahoma City. Very, very cool occurrence right there, if it does happen. Next up, we have a Boeing 737-800 right there. We're gonna say this guy is currently arriving in from Southwest Florida International Airport or Aviation Preston's Airport. And we will say that this guy is currently loading up and he's gonna take it over to Indianapolis. Next up, we have an Airbus or two Airbus A319s with the Sharklets, I should say. Uh, this first one's arriving in from New Orleans and he's gonna be heading out to uh, Savannah. Next one is arriving in from Nashville and he's gonna be heading out to Oh, let's see here. We'll just say Tulsa for him as well, just to make sure that we have our insurance there. Alrighty, so right here we have Airbus E321neo. Not many of these have been coming in. Uh, this one's currently arriving in from Los Angeles and we'll be heading out to Phoenix. So, so excited to fly in a couple of days. Uh, keep up with me on Instagram. I'll try to do some stuff on Twitter as well. So you guys can see everything that goes on during my Phoenix day trip. Also a full video on that if you would like that information, but definitely Instagram, that's where I'll post most of it probably. But Wow, so excited for that. Channel update will be coming in regards to the content to come from that and all that sort of thing. And uh, just in general, channel update will be coming soon. Uh, we have a Ember Ear J-145. This guy's currently pushing back. Now I'm going to address this now since we're here. <sighs> really sad to see, but unfortunately the final American Eagle Ember Ear J-140s are set to be retired in May. Now, uh, this is very, very sad. It doesn't come as a shock to me, unfortunately, with how old these aircraft are and just how outdated they are. Hopefully, I'll get to see um, quite a few of them. It would just be an excellent send-off, and hopefully I'll be able to do that. I'll keep you guys informed on that train. So anyways, 
Uh, we have the Ember EarJ-145 right here. I will just say a couple 140 routes. This guy's currently arriving in from, oh, let me see here. How about Del Rio? And he's gonna be heading out to San Angelo. And then currently pushing back, we have a uh, CRJ-700, of course, just Sky West for the 700s. Uh, Envoy transferred all, there's the PSA a while back now. Uh, we'll say this guy's coming in from Bismarck and he's gonna be heading out to uh, Streetport, Louisiana. There's a really nice concourse B lineup right there. So let's uh, get started here. Another Ember EOJ-145. This guy's currently coming in from Keelan and we'll be heading out to Lake Charles. Uh, Ember EOJ-175 right there. Lots of 175 routes, as I'm sure you guys can guess. This guy's gonna be heading out to, oh, uh, let's go with uh, Memphis for him. And he arrived in from Let's, uh, let's go with Savannah. Savannah on the 319 probably isn't happening right now, but <laughs> I was just trying to, uh, I thought maybe they would have one or two, but nevertheless. Another one, 145, pardon me. Uh, we're gonna say he's heading out to Wichita Falls. We'll be heading out to Springfield, Missouri. Another 175, uh, Huntsville for him, and he'll be heading out to Billings. Finally, another SkyWest CRJ-700 right here. I think the actual model's an Envoy, but nevertheless. This guy's arriving in from Panama City, and we'll say they send out to Pensacola. Um, desperately need 900s. Um, that would be amazing. There's some gorgeous lighting right there. That is what we're going for right there. That is gorgeous. So right there, we have a Boeing 737-800. Really excited to see that Aviation 18 was able to repair his uh, 737-800, and we got our route started back to Washington Reagan. So I'm really excited to see that. So of course, he's gonna be heading out to Washington Reagan or Aviation 18's airport. And uh, we'll say for the sake of this aircraft, he's coming in from, let's go with Orange County for him. So really, really cool to see that. I really thank Aviation 18 for doing that route. And to all you guys, if you do want to subscribe a route or to do a local fan picture, which there are a couple, so I'll do an audio insert somewhere in the update. Um, that's my reminder to myself. So uh, very, very cool. But if you do want to subscribe out, make sure it follows all the criteria, submit it in the Google form, and I will be sure to make that happen if it's realistic and everything. So 737-800, uh, loading up the service out to Reagan or Aviation 18's airport coming in from Orange County. We got the uh, PSA Airbus A319 there as well. This guy we're gonna say is coming in from, how about we go for Cincinnati, and he's gonna be heading out to Madison, Wisconsin. We got the beautiful Reno Air Boeing 737-800. Really hope to finally catch that aircraft. That is one of my big goals right now. I would say between Dallas and Phoenix, the chances are fairly high, but I'm not gonna get my hopes up. I need to see where he's at right now, probably Chicago or something. <laughs> All right, so this 737-800, we'll say uh, for ironic sake, he's heading out to Reno, and he arrived in from Minneapolis, St. Paul. Pushing back, we have an Airbus A320. Not many of these flights, but there are a couple. For this example, we'll say that he's doing a Washington Reagan DCA turn. Uh, another Airbus A321 Neo. Um, we'll just say that he's doing the turn or the uh, opposite of what the other one was, coming in from Phoenix, heading out to um, Los Angeles. And then in the back right there, as you can tell, we have a beautiful American Airlines Boeing 787-9. Now this particular frame, how about, let me check here. I wanna say there was a Tokyo Narita on there, so we'll say that he's coming in from Tokyo Narita, and there definitely was a Frankfurt too, I think so. We'll say coming in from Narita, heading out to Frankfurt right now. Right there, currently taxing in, we have another American Eagle Ember EJ-175, pardon me. Uh, let's say this guy's coming in from, let me try to do one off the top of my head because I need to get better. I should know something at this point. Des Moines, Des Moines, that'll work. He's coming in from Des Moines and we're gonna say that he's heading out to, I'm sure Columbus probably has a 175 somewhere, but um, yeah, just trying my best. <laughs> and then right here, we have another beautiful American Airlines Airbus A319, this one with the sharklets, of course. Uh, let's say this guy's coming in from Jackson Hole and he's gonna be heading out to uh, Key West which is super, super cool. That airport's going inc uh, insane, I should say. Now, let me explain to you guys real quick um, what the Sharklets and American's fleet uh, does. So American Airlines will operate their Airbus A319s with the Sharklets, regardless if it's uh, oh, Chicago Hare, Dallas, Char or, um, Charlotte, or Miami, wherever it is. They will operate them to uh, places that have mainly, I believe it's more of the shorter runways that are looking for more efficient planes. Especially uh, some of these aircraft, regardless if it's flying over water or into the mountains, um, some aircraft are more efficient than others. And the Airbus A319 with the Sharklets is very efficient when it uh, compared in retrospective to the 319 with the uh, fence tips. So if you see a lot of these Sharklet aircraft going into Jackson Hole, um, probably a little bit of Bosman, but then the Caribbean, all the Caribbean airports, and all that Eagle Vale prime example, that is because they're much more efficient. And um, as of for the mountain cities, I'm pretty sure it's um, 
easier on the, I'm pretty sure the high altitudes burn more fuel or something like that. And as for the Caribbeans, or <clears throat> as of for the Caribbean and Key West, I would think that it's either the short runway and it's easier to land a sharklet on there, or it could just be that over the water, it may be more efficient and uh, not as much fuel to fly these aircraft. And on top of that, I believe these much, probably have a slightly longer range. I'll have to double check on that. But if anybody knows the exact details, please clarify, but I'm pretty sure that's what's going on with those 319 Sharklets. So just a brief little rundown. Right here, we have a Spirit Airbus A321. This guy's arriving in from Los Angeles and we'll be heading out to uh, Minneapolis, St. Paul. Here's another American Airlines Airbus A319 with the fence tips. Uh, this example is coming in from Columbia, South Carolina, and we'll be heading out to Pittsburgh. And here's an American Eagle Ember Ear J-175 in the in-between stage on lighting, as you can tell. This guy's coming in from Little Rock, and we'll be heading out to Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Alrighty, right here we have the Antonov 124. Now this has came a couple times recently. Now, as I'm sure you guys knew, I decided to get this one rather than the GJ because um, the, this livery has mainly been the one coming to the United States uh, for quite a while. However, the blue and white one has been coming a lot recently, including two flights to Dallas. One came in from, oh, I think it was, oh, I don't know. I'll see if I can find it. And then the other one came in from uh, Canada I think one may have came in from like uh, St. John or something. Then the other one came in from um, YYR, the airport name slipped my mind right now. It was something interesting. But nevertheless, uh, really, really cool that it flew over my house so I was able to catch it. So that was really, really cool. And then it was really nice in Dallas for those spotters to get it. Uh, it was really, really cool. So um, really crazy to see that these are coming in. Very, very cool. I'm excited to see uh, what all pans out with these and if they turn into regular visitors or not. So that's very, very cool to see. I'm so glad to have the Antonov coming in to Dallas and it's super, super cool. I may have to get the GJ if this uh, continues so I can just have both and whichever one comes, I can use it. So very, very cool. And I do want to clarify, Massive Unboxing 14 is coming, guys. I promise I've um, just been super, super, mainly it's been the catch up with, um, not having the adequate conditions in my room. That's been the main problem, but nevertheless, um, it is coming, I promise. And right here, we have the beautiful American Airlines Boeing 737 MAX 8. This guy's currently taxiing out. He, um, we're just gonna say that he's doing some more maintenance flights. I thought I saw one inbound from Tulsa um, the other day, if I didn't, my bad, but we'll just say that he's doing some more of those test flights and we'll see if the MAX ever makes it an appearance in here. Uh, maybe they do it to St. Martin in those cities. It's not impossible. I would be a little surprised, but um, we'll see. But I have a feeling that those will stay on the East Coast for a while and uh, make the flights out to Phoenix too. Here is another American Airlines, or E319. We're gonna say that this guy's currently arriving in from Boise and he will be heading out to um, Houston. Here's a UPS Boeing 767-300 freighter. This guy's currently arriving in from Ontario and he will continue on out to, uh, let's go with Phoenix. I'm sure that it's probably more 757s, but there may have been 767 in there. Here's an American Airlines Boeing 737-800. He's arriving in, he's arriving in from Portland and he'll be having uh, service out to, uh, let's go with Orlando. And right here, taxiing onto the runway, we have another American Airlines Boeing 77-8. These have been a little limited, but uh, let's say for this example he's going to be heading out to cancun which has been a daily flight on the dash eight and right here we have a variety of ups aircraft we will stop start up there on the top pardon me with that boeing 757-200 this guy is currently arriving in from san antonio and he's going to be heading out to orlando got a airbus a300 right there coming in from atlanta heading out to fargo and the md11 coming in from columbia and we'll be heading out to um louisville so that will do it for today's airport update, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I probably forgot a couple subscriber routes, so I'm gonna read those off right now because um, really hard to manage everything. Um, literally got like eight pieces of paper over here trying to get everything, so my apologies. I'll read everything off. Detroit Aviation, Traverse City, uh, Grand Rapids, uh, Outer Rim, Lexington. Uh, let's see here. LGM College Station. Oh, uh, let's see. Making sure I don't miss any. Uh, Aviation, EWR, Newark and um, Aviation Preston, Boston, and I think I got the rest of them. Uh, so my apologies on that. But nevertheless, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. To everybody being affected down there in Texas by the conditions, I hope everything's okay. Hope you guys at least enjoyed the snow because that is rare down there and there was a lot of it. So that was really, really cool. 
Um, there's going to be a lot of content coming, guys. Um, some of the Tuesday videos, I may um, there may be a few less just so I can play some catch up. And there's some videos that are going to take some editing that I really want to make. So, um, yeah, those will be coming. I'll do channel updates soon. And, um, yeah, lots of great stuff coming, especially with that trip. But we'll just see how the content rolls out. Um, I'm doing my absolute best with the, my schedule. I went back to school this week, so in-person school. But spring break's coming up and all that sort of things. And summer's even on the horizon at this point. So that is super, super awesome. Uh, so nevertheless, I hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, spring's on the horizon for some of us. Uh, for others, fall. So hope you guys are enjoying your seasons and uh, staying safe during these tough times, uh, certainly. So. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this Dallas update. I thought there was a lot of great to it. Let me know what your favorite aircraft was. And if you have any remarks, concerns, comments, or anything like that, please comment. Uh, local fan pictures, subscribe routes, all that as well. And then, uh, yeah, all the socials are there too. So, nevertheless, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take it easy, guys. Stay safe. Trust the process. Do what you love and love what you do. My name is Redditor of Aviation. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon as Redditor of Aviation is signing off.